Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another problem from Lead Code today. Number of subarrays of size k and average greater than or equal to a threshold. Given an array of integers and two integers k and threshold. Return the number of subarrays of size k and average greater than or equal to threshold. So we are given with a array and we are given with two integers. So one is k and one is threshold. So we need to return the number of subarrays of size k whose average is greater than or equal to threshold. So let's go look at an example, right? So this is the array, the first example, right? And the k, the value of k is 3 and threshold is 4. So 4 should be the minimum average. So average greater than or equal to threshold, right? Since k is equal to 3, our sub array length should be 3. So if we go look at these first three elements, right? 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 6 by 3. Since we are taking the average 2 plus 2 plus 2 by 3, that is equal to 2, which is not greater than or equal to the threshold as threshold is 4. So if we just move forward, here again it will be 2 to 2 again we go further so here 2 plus 2 plus 5 that will be 9 by 3 is 3 so we have threshold as 4 so it will be still less than so let's go to the next sliding window right so 2 5 and 5 that is 12 right by 3 is 4 yes so we are looking at average greater than or equal to right so 4 is threshold when you consider the um, sub array 2 5 5 right we are getting threshold is equal to 4 so that means we can have this count this counted towards the final count right so this is one and next another sub array next sub array is 5 5 5 that is 15 by 3 so 15 by 3 is 5 right so that will be greater than the 4 threshold so the next that was the last sub array 5 plus 5 plus 8 that is 18 by 3 that is 6 again it is greater than 4 so we have three sub arrays whose average is greater than the threshold 4 right or equal to basically greater than threshold threshold or equal to right so greater than or equal to the threshold. So we have three sub arrays in this, right? So basically the logic here is very simple. So we will have to first go through the first k elements, right? So and sum them up. If the average is greater than threshold, we keep a counter to count the number of sub arrays, right? So if, if the average is greater, we just increment the count. And once we move the sliding window from this k to the next k, right, the next sub array. So we will have to subtract one of the elements in the last one, last sliding window and add uh, the next element, right. So that means if we are at ith, ith index, right, so we will have to subtract i minus k kth index right k is equal to 3 here in this case so i minus kth index from the running sum so we will keep the running sum by subtracting the i minus kth element right so that is how we will proceed by doing the uh, sliding window of size k so let's go look at the code So here we just get the length of the array n and the k is the sub array length and threshold is the input, right? So we initialize the sub array count to 0. So I am initializing the current sum to a double value, so it's a double value with, which is 0, with 0, dot 0, okay? we will start from the first element in the array and go to the last element. So while uh, i is less than k, that means 
first we need to come up with the first subarray if we come up with the first subarray then we will look into the next logic so while we are in the less than k elements right we just keep accumulating the sum right so once we accumulate the sum that means this will come as long as it will be i is less than k so once the k element sum is accumulated right then it will come to the else part so if at all the average of the sum is greater than or equal to threshold that average is we already have calculated the sum and when when we take average we have to divide by k right so that's how we get the average right this is the cur sum slash k so that is the average if it is greater than or equal to threshold we are going to increase the subarray count right so that's how we go and this is the next step we want to take out one element from the sliding window and add the next element right add the current element basically so the last element that we have to take out is array of i minus k right so we will have sliding sum for k minus 1 elements in this case so now we are going to add the current element that will be the current sum so when it goes back again right it will be obviously not less than k it will come back to this and then this for loop will continue right so finally we one once we reach to the end of the element elements right we won't have uh, this one calculated for the because we are adding the cur sum at the end right so we need to recheck whether the current sum is uh, current sums uh, average is greater than or equal to threshold so that we increment the subarray count finally we return the subarray count so let's go look at the uh, time complexity for this algorithm right so so we are going through the entire array by this for loop right starting from this line number 9 till line number 26 right so since we are do going through the array only once that means the time complexity will be order of n assuming n is the array length right and the space complexity is are we using any extra space here Uh, we are using a few, uh, few variables so those are that is a constant so we will say order of 1 so this is a constant space and time complexity is order of n hope you like the video and the solution if you like the video please subscribe and share among your friends thanks for watching i'll be back with another video soon thank you